Hello, yeah. How are you? Good. Strange, uh, but good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have sunshine today, so we must feel good and not only look what I have. Yes, and look what I have. Oh, hello, yeah. Chin Chin. Chin Chin. I missed uh, so much your visit that uh, I could not resist uh, to have, uh, even if it's a virtual one, a coffee with you. What a pleasure. And that I'm makes, so glad to be here. And that makes the whole difference. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm so happy to see you. And um, uh, well, uh, the purpose also of this conversation is that uh, because we are confined, uh, it's a good time to even get each other, um, to get uh, to know each other even better. And uh, I suddenly realized that there are some questions that I've never asked you. And uh, I am curious. I want to know the answers. All right. <laughs> well, we've known each other a long time, so they must be, uh, you're getting specific now. <laughs> yes, very specific. Oh. <laughs> so, Brock, well, first of all, uh, tell me more about your background, something that I don't know about uh, your interior design passion and uh, uh, something about your interior designer profession that I might not know. Sure. I mean, I think we, we know each other so much through, through furniture and through objects, through the, the pieces in your store. Um, but another big part of my love of interior design and and what's become kind of a, a specialty and area of interest for me is uh, is kind of fabric and textiles. Uh, and and that's something that, that works pretty well because I've hoarded so many fabrics and bolts and piles of them in my house that I, I have plenty that we can share with each other. <laughs> well, uh, I, I knew a little bit about that because uh, every time we... Uh, speak about a project together. I don't know why, but there's always uh, some fabric uh, popping out magically out of your uh, uh, oh, the swatches. pocket. <laughs> always a swatch. Here, I'll, I'll get some swatches for you. you know, yes, you please. Oh, you know, oh, look, a swatch, <laughs> a swatch, a swatch, always a swatch. But, uh, but I've always loved that. And uh, so I'm not surprised uh, that you tell me that you are in love with fabric. And not only, sometimes we spoke about a particular fashion. And I, of course, always fashion. Exactly. <laughs> there's, a, there's always been a, a textile and texture of fabrics involved. So I'm... Uh, um, Let's let's even speak uh, even more about fabrics today because uh, this not only it fascinates me but uh, it is also the relationship of uh, fabric with interior design that uh, I find particularly interesting. Yeah. But um, would you say that? Uh, uh, or maybe let me ask uh, the question in a different way. Sure. Is there a particular product that is uh, the first step in your project? Uh, that's a good question. I, I mean, I think for, of course, if a client comes with something very specific, that's that's the first thing, either... You know, they, they have furniture they love that they want to use or a rug or, um, or even the apartment that they're, you know, or house that they're moving into or building. It's going to be this. This room is oak. This room is stone, some pre-existing thing. But uh, how I, I often do enter into the, the design process, you know, on top of that brief from the, the client uh, through fabric. I mean... It's, I think for me that because it involves both color and texture, it's always um, an easy way to start a conversation with a client. Um, starting with furniture can sometimes feel a little too specific um, and too, 
oh, well, where's this going? You know, what, what is this for? Is this, you know, there, there, there are a hundred questions where it's like, do you like this? You know, do you like yellow? Do you like green? Do you like blue? Rough textures, soft textures, smooth textures. And you can actually find out a lot about a client from how they react to different, different textiles. Um, so I, and because I like textiles so much, I always have them floating around that it's an easy, you know, it's always an easy place to start. Um, well, and not only, but I find it extremely interesting because you're right. Uh, not only you can show a lot of uh, um, different colors in uh, just in samples, but texture also in a way. In a piece of fabric, you have so much. You have pattern, you have fabric, you have... Uh, uh, well, you have kind of weight, you have either warm or cool, you have exactly. cozy or slick. And you can, you can find out, you know, if, we, if I showed someone your blouse uh, and they reacted really well to that, they loved that, you could, really, you could really use that as a starting point. Not because you'd want to upholster everything in it, but... Oh, they like they like things that are graphic. They like you know bold, rich colors. At least sometimes, um, you know, they like smooth and luxurious, and and you go from there. Whereas you show them a piece of gray linen, and they go crazy. That this is perfect. You're moving in a much different direction already, and that then can inform you, you know right. X, Y, and Z, you know, other things. And I think because people are very used to fabric because of their fashion. Because of clothes, fabric doesn't seem so foreign. Um, it feels very natural to react to a, a textile um, in the way that you would pick out a, a shirt or a sweater or a pair of pants. Um, and so for a client that isn't accustomed to lots of interior design, isn't accustomed to looking at a lot of furniture or, you know, kind of the... the the, the more specific things, uh, which, you know, you inevitably get to, uh, it's actually, I find it really, you know, even to just walk in, here I am, I'm wearing a textile, do you like, you know, do you like this? And I think people can relate to that really easily in a way that it, sometimes it's a little harder at the beginning to jump into different categories. Uh, but I think it's product. an ideal approach. Ideal approach, really. I never thought of it, but uh, it's... Uh... Um, it seems uh, to be um, a right solution. And, um, well, and of course, if someone would say, oh, I love uh, Fabienne's shirts, uh, for sure they love Italian fashion and Italian design then. So you can bring exactly. them to us. And then we bring them to you. It's perfect. <laughs> but uh, would you um, present to a client first Oh, show me, do you have some f of your favorite fabrics to show us? Uh, sure, yeah. I mean, what, um, any, anything in particular you want, you want to see? I mean... No, uh, you, you, you must be the one to in inspire us. Okay, so, I brought a few. I brought a few and you tell me what you want to talk about, okay? Yes, oh, you'll yes. Get excited. So, I just laid out a few things on my bed. Wow, um, that's... So this is, the wall is upholstered in fabric, which is this fabric, so uh, which I had custom made for, for the room. You have your private garden. <laughs> of course. Yes, I have my bamboo garden. And then this is a fabric that I, uh, which you know because you were there, uh, was, was made for my wedding, which was a fun event. Um, and then we have a few kind of collections of, these are Indian and Indonesian and Burmese textiles that I've kind of collected and Japanese textiles. So a little more ethnographic and less, um, you know, less kind of from the D&D official interior design fabrics. And then a few more, um, you know, a little more traditional interior design things. We have a little Fortuni, um, a nice print, uh, a very interesting weave uh, with old scraps of fabric. Um, and then just this fun little Ooh, uh, embroidery that. that I found that uh, needs to find a home. So, but what uh, do you think? 
Wow, every I I would love to have each one of them, but um, but tell me something because uh, I just picked up something that I find very interesting. Okay. Um, the the fabric for your wedding. Sure. Because um, uh, let's talk about that. Yes, because this is something that uh, um, I. I've never been thinking, you know, you think about flowers for a wedding, about uh, uh, the bride's dress and uh, the groom's suit, but uh, to speak about a specific fabric for a wedding. Okay, so explain, explain. <laughs> so, um, I mean, the wedding itself was in a Chinese restaurant in New York City. And so the venue was there. It's a very similarly on the west side, so kind of this grand postmodern interior, already very stylish, black and red and white, the dragon. And, and so, you know, coming to this project as an interior designer who was also, you know, wanted to create a, a very evocative mood for this, you know, an evening wedding, uh, there weren't that many places, you know, the walls were there, the decors were already there because it was this environment that already existed and of course we would have flowers and guests and their beautiful clothes and candles and lighting and all of that but um, I found that the one place that was easy for me to kind of insert myself and kind of change the room uh, for the evening was to to do a textile so that this textile the, the fabric that would be the, uh, the all of the tablecloths and then also, um, we, we made a chuppah to get married underneath. So the tablecloths and the chuppah were out of the same fabric to kind of create this extra layer of personalization. And, um, of, you know, and also the, this, the sensibility that was a little more playful than the restaurant, which, you know, the restaurant's very kind of serious in that, you know, grand 80s white tablecloth way. So this kind of made it a little more fun and joyful. Um, and here, I, we're talking about it. I should show it to you. Yes, please, uh, because I'm, I'm getting very curious now. So, 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 so again, Chinese restaurants. So we, my, my friend George, who's the founder and designer at Vutsa. Oh, I know George and I love him. His, uh, his designs uh, are fabulous. So that is... Yes. So we started with Chinese robes and we kind of made this, again, the vertical repeat is... Uh, like 96 inches, so it's a really big repeat. Ooh. And, we, and we kind of, we go into this, and we have all of our colors. We have our reds and our greens and our blues and our yellows and our pinks but, uh, did... and our blacks. <laughs> <laughs> but and it looks like, are there dragons? Is the yellow dragons or...? Uh... Uh, yes, the, so the yellow is dragons, and then the... You know, these yellows are dragons. And then there's also like, you see the pink, the pink face is actually a dragon also. Oh, wow. You, yes, yes, I, I see that now. You kind of, it's hard, to, you know, it's a little abstract, but here's the, and so that's that classic imperial dragon robe um, design. So here, I'll come back and we can kind of. And, uh, but uh, you had the tablecloth also like this? Yes, so the ta so it's printed, it's um, printed in Italy, of course, uh -oh. in Como. <laughs> uh, and it's printed on this, this lovely linen, which I know it's hard to see over digital things, but it's this really nice, it's since been washed, so it has a bit of a hand, but it was quite crisp for the wedding. And, um, Yes, so we, we made the tablecloths and we uh, we did the chuppah, which was made up with gold fringe <laughs> and kind of lifted up on bamboo poles. And it was all very stylish, if I do say so myself. Um, and actually, a lot of people, a lot of people took, you know, took tablecloths with them at the end of the night, which actually made me quite happy. Oh, that's of, fabulous. Kind of souvenirs of, of the evening. Um and, which I hadn't really intended one way or the other, but I thought it was fun that people reacted to them so strongly. Yes, and I mean, I think this is a fabulous idea, you know, and um, 
Well, I hope that uh, um, whoever uh, uh, will listen to our conversation will get inspired and uh, even come to you for uh, um, having uh, special uh, fabrics and linen for their wedding. With and, pleasure. And even for guests to take away. That's a, a fabulous idea. Really, ex I find it very, very um, uh, filled with the right emotion also, you know, the right, uh, even the right goal of uh, what a wedding is, of the, the sharing and um, of the being together. That's wonderful, Brock. Absolutely. And I think one, one fun thing about this, this is the first time, I'm trying to think, you know, I've, I've in, in, in textiles, it's very easy to, you know, maybe you custom color something or you change the scale of something. But even that, I think the, the way that a lot of people shop for textiles now, you know, through these big showrooms, um, and there are a lot of cool, not so big showrooms that are doing more artisanal textiles now too, which is very exciting. I mean, in the last kind of 10 years, that's really changed. Um, but I think even so, it's very easy to just look at what's on the wings and what's in the showroom and say, okay, these are my choices and I'll pick one. But really, you know, so many of these studios have wonderful artists um, who are working in them, you know, right now. They're not all old document fabrics. And, and I think just the, the mindset of, you know, if you have the time and, and the money, but if the mindset of, oh, you know, I could do anything. Like, yes, totally. I, you know, oh my gosh, I love this person's work. I love this, um, this showroom's work. This is an amazing print, but like, I wish it were orange and I wish, uh, you know, they did calla lilies, but I wish they had done camellias and like, maybe I could start that conversation. And I think it's, it's a lot easier, you know, with people who are willing to work with you, it's really not that it's a very fun process and it's really, I think a lot of people are very excited by it, you know, to engage in, in, in custom designs. And so, of course I was, you know, previously I had a friendship with George Vinson um, and, you know, built off that to design this textile with him for the wedding. But I think you don't have to be best friends with someone to, to start a working relationship and to create really beautiful stuff. that's not already on the market. So, I think that was one. That was an eye-opening thing to me. Even though I'd done, you know, tweaks and changes, and this is and that's. This was the first. Nothing exists. Let's create something for this very specific event, but you know, the very specific room, whatever it is. Um, and then you have a fabric that no one else has, and that's exactly. very exciting. And that feels, you know, again in this world where there's there's so much publicity and everything is out there and find so many things so e easily um you know there is a at some point a desire by by some clients and certainly by designers who you know you can get a little bored of the whole thing sometimes if you just buy everything off the shelf yes uh, to but... create something really new and you know you you i think you you guys do such a good job of, of creating not textiles but but uh you know new designs and bringing in designers and just making stuff out of um you know, pure imagination. Uh, and I think today the, the beauty also of communication is uh, to be able now to form these partnerships where uh, um, you, you really create something unique because of the, of the, the, the union of different minds. And yeah. And this is again the evidence of the way I define you. You know how I define you. <laughs> I that, don't know how you define me. <laughs> <laughs> that you are uh, um, the the guy who finds the solution in motion. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and and so that's always I have I have defined you finding the solution <laughs> in motion while while in motion. I should and, write that down. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, but that's always been the case. 
that every time also in our project, uh, often you identify something and then suddenly uh, there you are, an idea comes out of it. And, and, um, and, and I think that's uh, uh, so rewarding for us as well, uh, as retailers, because uh, even if we put uh, a lot of our passion to source uh, different items, but uh, to be able then suddenly to see it uh, come to life mm. with uh, uh, a partnership and with the creativity of somebody else, it's, uh, it's fabulous. Yeah, we know how to have fun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But and in a way, I've all, I must say that uh, um, I, I should have come uh, myself uh, to your stronger connection with fabrics because I know that every time you come to see us, let me show you something. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> every time you I come to it. exactly, you always uh, stop to look oh. at this and you always tell me I love it because it's like an anchorship. Uh, Absolutely. It's like a Gautier handkerchief, you know? Exactly. It's like, uh, and this, really, but this is uh, one of my favorites as well. Because so it's, good. it's in Murano glass and um, created, it's a unique piece created by Hilton McCormick. But it really has so much movement. And not only the stripes uh, make it... Uh, um, similar to a fabric, but the um, the organic shape that makes it constantly oh, movement yeah. makes it uh, very. I can see that. So every time you tell me, I this is my favorite. So you must soon find a home for it. And we'll uh, I'm not worried. We'll find a home. For it. <laughs> and uh, but and you know what? I have to tell you something because I really envy you in this confinement with your personal garden at the back. <laughs> oh, you mean this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can just sit under the canopy and gaze up at the stars. <laughs> but, but I believe that also must be uh, another uh, um, reward uh, that... Uh, you have to be home, but you are in an environment that you have created yourself. Yes. Yeah, it feels very, I feel very lucky to have decorated, uh, to, to have fully decorated before the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> but, and does it give you uh, even a better uh, um, sense of achievement? Or uh, are you getting uh, um, overwhelmed by, by your own design? Uh, no, not overwhelmed. I think um, I, I think when you first come, like like so many kind of, let's say you know complex or maximalist things, you know when you first walk in, if you've never been in my apartment, you walk in and it's like. I don't know where to look. Like, there's a lot going on. There, you know, and people get very excited. You don't want to look at everything, blah, blah, blah. and I love that. You know, it becomes this little treasure hunt. This kind of exactly what's going on. How do I put it all together? But once you live here for a while, it all feels very normal. You know, just like five weeks ago, it felt very normal to go to a restaurant, and now it feels very normal to not go to a restaurant. Uh, you get used to anything. And, but I, I will say, I will say, you know, you've made a good choice when it, you still, this, this, this forest of mine. Yes. I, still gives me so much joy. Well, and I, I share that with you. <laughs> I share that with you because uh, I think I could not get, get bored in uh, no. such in such a garden among the, the trees. <laughs> and, um, and if I recall, uh, even your curtains, 
Uh, oh yeah, uh, the uh, curtains are uh, here. I'll, well, you know, forgive the uh, even the curtains are are uh, bamboo. So we've got, we've got the 360. <laughs> That's fabulous, and um, I'm 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 so happy that in a way you confirm. I mean, when the design is good, uh, you can have to stay. 24 hours uh, uh, a day for seven days a week in a place and you still enjoy it. And you still enjoy it. Exactly. So, <laughs> and <Thank God. laughs> totally, totally. Yes. Like with good art, you know, exactly. I, I have my father's uh, painting at the back and you, um, not only, but it's like every day they tell you something. They tell you something new and uh, they give you new motivation. Or, or maybe Brock is just because we are passionate people and we just, we just love our days no matter what, right? Exactly. And I think that helps. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and we enjoy seeing each other and uh, just having an espresso. So... Uh, I must thank you very much, Brock, because it's been so interesting, and uh, I I loved uh, the introduction of the fabric as the beginning of a project and understanding your client, and I love the idea of uh, personalizing a wedding with uh, unique textile. That's uh, absolutely. That's really. And, you know, that's such a great idea. I never yeah. thought of it, but it's a, a great, great idea. And um, we, we need uh, this kind of uh, personalization, right? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's joy. It's, a, it's creating a mood and, and creating, you know, hopefully a, a really joyful and long-lasting mood. Excellent. So yeah. on, when it all works. On, uh, and I think that uh, if everyone wants really to um, to be able to have joy, they must go on your Instagram account, uh, which is at Brock Force Bloom, and uh, there's plenty of joy over there. Plenty, plenty. Of joy. plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so so long, Brock. And uh, until our next espresso, very, very soon. With pleasure. Thank you so much. My pleasure, Mark. Thank, ciao. thank you for this lovely conversation. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.